all. Yes. Uh -huh. Mandatory arrest without warrants. Yes. Uh, has occurred within the previous four hours is required to arrest the perpetrator. <laughs> now, I know when it happens at 7.47 a.m., pooch, approximately uh, 13 minutes to 8, yes, you waited nine hours, and then you had a, a second criminal violation when it was a mandatory arrest without warrants. <laughs> now, I had been emailing law enforcement that I was not given any due process. Yes. Are you sure that you weren't retaliating against the emails that I had been sending? Pooch. Because uh, the way that I see it, when you didn't uh, light the lights, ooch, when you didn't drive up to the library or... <clears throat> Uh, considering I was at the Hagen's that morning, yes, <laughs> or I was at uh, EMR at 8 a.m., pooch, I was on the bus, you could have looked on the bus surveillance, well, let's see if we see him, yes, <laughs> it would not have been that difficult to actually locate me and have me arrested for the first criminal complaint, yes, but it was New Year's Eve and you decided to just poo ha ha it, and <laughs> I think you're in violation of the actual RCWs that make it a mandatory arrest. But then you waited four days because I wasn't in Squim, Washington. Yeah. And uh, I had documented that. But uh, you decided that you would just arrest me and make up some bullshit about... Uh, oh, now here is something very, very interesting. I put a little tag on this. <laughs> This was issued after a hearing uh, of which the person received actual notice at which the person had an opportunity to participate. And I put a little ap approved right there. Yes. Now, um, this weapon surrender form that you issued, yes, um, where I was not given actual notice, yes, 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 <laughs> uh, was issued after a hearing, yes, uh, of which the person received actual notice of the hearing, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and at which the person had an opportunity to participate. <laughs> now, I have to have the opportunity to participate. You you can't issue a temporary protection order when the person's in jail, unless, of course, they're in that jail. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Being in a Guamanian jail, I wouldn't have had opportunity. <laughs> now, uh, uh, they keep saying this was issued. I, I put a number of tags on here. And... Uh, <laughs> was issued and had an opportunity. Oh, federal uh, legislation. Mm -hmm. There's another one, was issued after a hearing in which the respondent had actual notice and opportunity to participate. <laughs> you seem to think that you can issue court orders where the respondent did not have actual notice and did not have an opportunity to participate. <laughs> I mentioned that second amendment right to keep and bear arms. Yes. <laughs> well, you violated that in July 11th or July 8th of 2011. Yes, you did! <laughs> See, when you issue... <laughs> you have violated my Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms for seven years and two months. Ooch. Now, I'm going to sue you. Ooch. I'm going to sue you for saying that a person becomes more domestic violence perpetrator <laughs> when they don't. Ooch. They are or they are not. <laughs> I'm going to sue you for not responding within the four hours of having the knowledge of the one. I'm going to sue you, pooch, <laughs> for not having a hearing at which the respondent had actual notice and an opportunity to participate. <laughs> In 2011, yes. In 2012, when you issued a minute order, yes. <laughs> now, I know. <laughs> you...